stay away from my radical. So we're back to another Sonic video. This time, if we touch a single enemy, this video ends. So let's get this started. We're on to Sonic 1. And like always, you know, touch rings finally. But we can't touch enemies. So let's see uh, how we... And... Okay... Alrighty... May not be as bad actually as the ring challenge. Ring challenge was crazy. But... Quick... Ready? Now we're on to Sonic CD, and I forgot to choose uh, Tails, but it's okay. I can play with Sonic again. But, uh, yeah. You gotta be careful here, because there's a lot of enemies in this stage. So, yeah. Careful. Okay. Don't let that, uh, touch me. Okay. And uh actually might we're actually at the end of the stage. There we go. Too easy! Piece of cake! Now we're on to Sonic 2, we're playing as Tails, and uh We can fly now, which I mean you gotta be careful on that too because enemies can pop up anywhere. So go. Ready? Shoot. Miss, uh, momentum. There we go. And... Oh, missed the upper path. That's okay. Got the, uh, little, uh... This here to go. Oh, shit. Another W. Too easy! Piece of cake! On to Sonic 3. Playing Sonic solo. No tails in sight. Just solo. And... And gotta be careful on uh, how do we uh, okay? Oops, lose rings and Maroon! not done yet because we're in mini boss and not the end of the stage yet, so we got this to deal with, okay. Oh, uh, never mind. We're on to Sonic's smooth transition to 3D. Not a rough transition, a smooth and nice transition to 3D. Nothing can convince me otherwise, but yep, in 3D, which means we can avoid enemies way easier than uh, we could have in 2D, so yeah. Nothing is gonna stop me. Now, it's been a while since I played this game. Like, like for real. Like, it's been a hot minute. I don't play this game much compared to SA2. Like, I prefer SA2 more than this game. But I like, I mean, like, the song scenes are pretty good. Tails, Knuckles, and, you know, Gamma is pretty nice. But, like, Amy was, like, alright. And Big was big. And I thought Gamma was way too easy for my liking, but fine nonetheless, but nonetheless, I do think this game has not, you know, aged the best. I mean, to be fair, this game came out in the 90s, but I kind of feel like this game is not really the best for me. I still like SA2 a bit more because of the, uh, like, faster levels, so, you know, need proof. They prove off in Venture 1, other than the... Treacher and stuff, but I mean, that's not very, you know. I like the uh, Knuckles and Ruby stages in uh, SA2 anyway, so it's not really, you know, a big deal for uh, that. But I play SA1 a lot. I think it's not, you know, well, I think it's like probably like not the best. I think Sonic Heroes, in my opinion, is better too than this, but I like Sonic Adventure. Not a game I play most of the time, and but I still enjoy it though. And there we go. Onto Sage, no enemy beaten. Let's go. 
too easy. Piece of cake. Now we're on to the GOAT, also known as Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. And finally, we're playing the game for once because last time we had the ring challenge and we had rings in the way right when the stage started and we had to move on to Sonic Heroes. But thankfully, this is an enemy challenge, so we get to enjoy City Escape as long as we don't touch any single enemy. Alrighty, we're on actual control. So, use a shortcut right here. I speed dash. Somersault. Throw grinding. Go. I like doing this because it looks pretty cool. For a jump. Oops. Missed that ramp. But we're good so far. We good. Oh. You have to avoid that. There we go. That. So far so good. No enemies in sight. So we are good. Okay. Do a trick here. Okay, we need the like the gun truck section, so boom. Oops, missed that, but hey, spin dash works. His ability. But never mind. Uh oh. Spin dash. Spin dash don't touch enemy. Oh no. Well, that was fun while it lasted, but hey, we're on to Sonic Heroes, and might run into an issue here because not you know Sonic Heroes you have you know a speed type, a fight type, and a power type, and there's a couple of sections where you have to use power type for you know to progress, so it might run into an issue, but we'll see how far we go. So yeah. So never mind. Alrighty, on to a good game. Now we'll see how 06 turns out because there's some points in the game where like you have to home attack for enemies to progress to the stage, but I'm not sure about Wave Ocean though, but we'll see. I haven't played that much Sonic 06 lately, so my memory is a little bit fried from this game, like in terms of like, level design and everything like that, so bear with me. Let's go here. So you can skip a whole uh, enemy path. So here too. Like you see him see here, like that section. If you go to the lower path, you have to like I mean technically you can go in the spring in that section to uh progress, but still. And uh let me attack there. Avoid enemy. Do not homie attack there. And uh attack. And no enemies here other than the whale. So good here. And we're on the tails, so he can fly, which is nice. And uh skip a whole enemy here. Once again, like Tails' area is like more filled with enemies. Even like the N2 is also filled. So, what we're gonna do is right here. There we go. That onto max speed. Onto max speed, and we'll see how uh, we fare here because you can. There's like the point where like you can get hit constantly, and yeah. So, I'm using a mod, so that's why you see like max speed is a bit different, like controls wise. Is that's why. So. to Sonic and Secret Rings. Not excited at all to play this, but we must do. Alrighty, shoot! Alrighty, we're on to Sonic Unleash, and we run to issue the stage. So, at the near end, you have to take down enemies to progress. Doesn't sound bad at all, because they did boost, but the home attack isn't the same button as the boost. So, it's going to be pretty uh, difficult to bypass that, so let's see how we uh, like this part here, so... Okay, let me see... We're on to Sonic and the Black Knight, and you see we have a sword that we use to take down enemies with. We're not using that sword in this video because we are trying to avoid enemies. 
So let's see how this turns out. Okay, on to our... Alrighty, on to Sonic Colors. And we did the Brain Chomp before, and we passed that, so let's see how we do with enemies. Okay, skip that. Alrighty, there. And then, uh, jump here. Over there. There we go. Okay, do not use the laser at all. Okay. Like that. Okay, let's see how we go here. Go. Why not? Alright, doing good progress so far. There's no enemies here, so we are good. There we go! Too easy! Piece of cake! Okay, we're on to Sonic Generations. Modern Sonic Green Hill Zone, let's go! So. Should be pretty easy to avoid. Maybe. Oh, we're right here. <laughs> Never mind. We're back to Sonic Lost World. We have nothing else but that. And, uh, yeah. Except. Thank God. Anyway, so look at that, we're back to playing Sonic Mania. It was so good to be back to playing this game again. On to Green Hill Zone, I have Tails on my side, I forgot to uh, touch the Sonic, but as long as it doesn't touch anything, enemy wise, we're good. Okay. Oops. Ooh. That. There we go. Doing good so far. Okay. Doing pretty good so far. No problem whatsoever. Okay. Look at that. We're back to Sonic Forces. Again. So. Yep. We lost the ring challenge last time, so let's see how it fares with enemies, which I think will be not be a huge problem, but we'll see. Oh boy. That's the uh, be careful part, because uh, since forces are very linear, like, usually most of the straight lines are, you know, made full of enemies, so gotta be careful of that, and I think this one also has enemies too, actually. Ready. And we're now on to Sonic Frontiers, and we got a W last time for the Rain Challenge, so let's see if we can do the same thing too for enemies, and enemies are pretty avoidable in this age, maybe, gotta find out, but they should be easy to avoid. Alrighty, so... Don't go there. Right here. Ooh. Okay. Got that. And there we go. No enemies in sight. Another W. Here we go. Too easy. Piece of cake. <laughs> 